Ever hit that sport mode button and just thought, all right, what did that actually do? Like, is my car genuinely faster now? Or is this just some fancy placebo effect playing games with my head? IV always been super curious about what s really going on behind the scenes when you press that button. Is it just a gimmick? Or is there some real engineering magic happening? Let's dive in and figure this out together. At its core, sport mode is all about changing your car's personality. It tweaks how the car responds to your inputs, especially the throttle, the steering, and the transmission. It's like you're telling the car, yo, wake up, it's go time. Instead of being in its usual relaxed everyday commute state, the car's systems all get a shot of adrenaline. Ready for some more spirited driving? It's not just one thing, it's a whole package of adjustments designed to make the driving experience feel more dynamic and engaging. So, what's the first and most noticeable change? The throttle response. Big time. In normal mode, you might have to press the gas pedal down a fair bit to get the car moving with any real urgency. But flick it into sport mode, and suddenly, the lightest tap on the gas gets a way bigger reaction from the engine. It feels way more eager, almost jumpy off the line. It's not that you have more power, but the car is giving you that power much sooner. This is probably the number one reason people feel like their car is faster in sport mode. The car just feels more alive and ready to pounce. Next up, let's talk about the transmission. This is another huge piece of the puzzle. In your car's normal or comfort mode, the automatic transmission is all about efficiency. It wants to shift up to the highest possible gear as quickly as it can to save fuel. It's smooth, it's lazy, and it's perfect for just cruising around town. But in sport mode, that whole philosophy gets thrown out the window. The transmission will hold on to each gear for much longer, letting the engine rev way higher into its power band. This keeps the engine in its sweet spot, so when you need a burst of acceleration, the power is right there, instantly. No waiting for the transmission to kick down a gear or two. It also downshifts way more aggressively when you brake getting the car ready for the next corner. It's all about keeping the engine on high alert. Then there's the steering. This one can be a little more subtle, but it's definitely there in a lot of modern cars. In normal mode, your steering is probably light and easy, which is great for parking or navigating through a tight city street. But when you hit that sport mode button, the steering often tightens up. It feels heavier, more direct, and gives you a much better sense of connection to the road and the front tires. You get more feedback through the wheel, which gives you more confidence, especially when you're carving through some twisty back roads. It creates that locked-in vibe, making the car feel more stable and responsive to your every little input. Now, for those of you with cars that have adaptive suspension, this is where things get really interesting. In some vehicles, engaging sport mode will also firm up the dampers. What does that do? It reduces body roll, so when you go into a corner, the car stays flatter and feels more planted. The trade-off is that the ride gets stiffer. You'll feel bumps and imperfections in the road a lot more sharply. So it's awesome for a smooth, winding road, but maybe not so great for your daily commute through a city full of potholes. It really shows how sport mode prioritizes performance and handling feel over pure comfort. And we can't forget about the sound. You might have noticed your car gets a little louder in sport mode. What's up with that? Well. Car manufacturers know that a great engine note is a huge part of the fun. So, some cars will actually open up special valves in the exhaust system to let more of that glorious engine sound out. Others, and this might be a little controversial, will use the car's speakers to pump in some enhanced engine noise. Yeah, you heard that right. It's called active sound design. It might sound a bit fake, but the goal is the same, to make the car sound faster and more aggressive which adds to the overall experience, even if the actual performance gains are minimal. So here's the big plot twist. The question everyone asks, does sport mode actually add more horsepower? The answer for the vast majority of cars is no. It doesn't magically unlock some hidden power reserve in your engine. What it does is change how you access the power you already have. It makes the car's existing horsepower feel more immediate and more aggressive. It's all about perception and response time. The engine is the same, the power is the same, but the way the car delivers that power is totally different. It's quicker, sharper, and a whole lot more exciting. But all that fun has to come at a cost, right? Yep, say goodbye to your fuel economy. 
when the engine is revving higher and you're accelerating more aggressively, you're naturally going to be burning more gas. The car's computer is no longer prioritizing efficiency. It's prioritizing performance. So think of sport mode as fun mode, not save money mode. It's for those times when you want to enjoy the drive, not for when you're trying to squeeze every last mile out of a tank of gas. Here, it's a good way to think about it. Switching to sport mode is like swapping your chill, everyday sneakers for a pair of high-performance running shoes. Your legs are still the same. You haven't suddenly become a world-class sprinter, but now you're equipped to move with more purpose and attitude. Everything feels tighter, more responsive, and you're ready to perform at your best. It's the same you, just optimized for a different task. If you really want to feel the difference for yourself, here's a cool little experiment you can try. Find a familiar on-ramp to a highway. The next time you're about to merge, go up the ramp in your car's normal mode. Pay attention to how you have to press the gas and how the transmission shifts. Then, the next time, do the same on-ramp but in sport mode. I guarantee you'll notice a huge difference in how the car reacts, how early you get that push, and how long it holds on to the gears. It's a really eye-opening way to feel what's actually changing. So, the bottom line is this. The sport mode button isn't some magic horsepower booster, but it's far from being just a gimmick. It legitimately changes the entire personality of your car. It makes it less lazy, more hyped up, and a whole lot more fun to drive when you want to feel a deeper connection to the machine. It transforms your daily driver into something with a bit more edge and excitement. So next time you press it, you'll know exactly what's happening. It's all about unleashing the attitude that was hiding there all along. Thanks for hanging out and geeking out about cars with me. If you enjoyed this deep dive, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Catch you in the next one.